All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and replace these oil safety controls, and we're gonna put in the new Centronic, um, Centronic, Centronic sensors on here. Then we're gonna run our Belden up to our AI board, which is all the way in this panel right here. We're gonna run three compressors connected to this board, and then we're gonna program this controller to read that, to look for that board. So we'll show you how all that's done. I have another guy helping me out so we can get this done quicker. And I'll walk you guys step by step um, and how to do it. And I'll try to get as much detail as I can. But that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so we're gonna start on this compressor first. Uh, to speed up the process, we've already pumped down this compressor. Um, we're gonna go ahead and dis uh, loosen this up, replace it with the new Centronic. All right, so first we're gonna do is he's gonna go ahead and loosen up or take out that uh, plug. That's a one inch socket he's using. And then we're gonna replace it with this Centronic sensor. Remember, always remember this, this um, O-ring right here, it comes in the package, but it's separate. It doesn't come already attached. So make sure this is there. And that's nylog, by the way, a little bit of nylog on there. Uh, make sure this is uh, on there properly. There's no ribs, tears, anything. And then this is your copper washer. Make sure that's in as well. attach this then we're gonna get the sensor uh, plug plug that in and then we're just gonna run the wire all the way up to probably the frame here and then we're gonna chase it along the frame over to the board so in these right here we're gonna probably clip these off and put new ones on that we have because these are not made for the style we have these are made for the Centronics controller. So uh, we're gonna clip these off, put our own on there, and then connect that to the valve that goes over to the board. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this, uh, take this out right here, remove this, all the wiring, and uh, disable it, because we're not gonna need this no more. Everything's gonna be ran off of this. So once we get, once we start running everything, we'll come back. All right, so this is where we're gonna run the wire, the belted wire. We've got a spool of it down here. We're gonna connect it to, make it look nice and pretty there, and connect it to the bottom. Then we're gonna run it up here. It's gonna go up like that. All the way across this, down there, and then down to our compressor. We're gonna chase it along the frame. And then we'll probably make it go onto these zip ties right here, string it, a, string it down, and then straight down into our sensor. That's the way we're gonna run it. Okay, so the wiring on this. So what I'm doing is the, the Allen M right here, the Allen M is my control circuit. So what I did was I pulled it through this conduit into this J box that's under here and I just cut them and tied them together because we're eliminating this. We don't need it no more. And then this wire here, I'm going to also pull through and then I'm just going to put a wire nut on it. So I'm going to have it come out through here, put another wire nut, cap it off because we're eliminating that. So that's how the wiring is going to go with this. And uh, once I pull this out, I'm gonna pull this out, put a cap on this, and uh, be done with that. All right, right now we got one compressor, actually two compressors are being done. So we got our sensor in, stripped out our old oil control, capped it off, ran it up to this, all the way up, into our, our valve in. 
Uh, I use jelly beans, some guys use dolphins, but either way they both work the same. And then we got another one in process right there. And then he has his run down right here. And also eliminated. All right, so we're already gonna land the first one. Ran the belt in, stripped it down. Gonna eliminate, uh, eliminate the white one too. We're gonna eliminate, uh, there's three wires on this one. We're gonna eliminate the white wire. So we'll just have a black and red one. This one we're gonna go ahead and put it on point three. Well, it's a 16 AI, so it's really gonna be not point three, but in line of the compressors, we're calling it point three. And right now he's doing compressor three. So we're just gonna kind of match it. First one, now we're gonna go ahead and program it into the controller. Okay, now we're gonna program the board into the controller for compressor three. So we sign in. Once we log in and sign in, go ahead and um, go to your suction group, go to setup, and then go all the way down to your stage setup. Then once you're in your stage setup, select your compressor, ours is number three. Go to oil sensor and select close OK. And then the 10 second will pop up. Then you're gonna get out of setup, go back in it again, and tab over all the way to more until you get to your compressor oil digital. Then you're gonna put in your, um, your board core and then your point 11. And then once you're in there, you get back out. And then if you go to your stage setup, it's already set up. And your board is in there. So you can also go into uh, the input status. And just, and also down in input status, it'll already be, have a board and point on there. So you got board four, point 11, and then your digital compressor oil. All right, so now to find out if it actually works. So what we're gonna do, I, I accidentally logged out. All right, so we got compressor three running. So let me go to my suction group. So we got compressor three on. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and pull the plug on to test it out on the oil fill. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull that plug and we're just gonna test the compressor. So now it's off. Compressor's running, but we have the sensor plug unplugged. So we're just gonna let it time out. And then there's the alarm. Oil fail popped up. We go to alarms. It's reading oil fail. We'll go over to the compressor to confirm that it's off. And this is our compressor that is off. So now we know it works. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it back in. And then we're gonna go to our controller to reset. And we wanna reset only one advisory. We push A. So now we reset the compressor. And we'll go back to, now it's calling to be on. And now our compressor is back on. So that's how you program your oil sensor into the E2 controller. We're gonna do this one next, and then we're gonna do that one. All right guys, so we're all done here. We got all three compressors with new Centronic sensors right here. Tied the rope, the lines right here. And then we have them coming up here chase down there and going into the board here let me open that up real quick so they're coming down these three coming down and wiring it in And then the controller right here. So I'll go to that suction group. And they're all running, no alarms. We'll go to setup. We'll go over to our stage and then we got all three set for oil. All right guys, so we're all done. Uh, again, that's how you wire in a Centronics oil sensor to the E2 controller. All right guys, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next service call.